Thank you, Lord, for your amazing word. Thank you that you delight to speak to your children. Help us to receive all that you want us to receive through this passage. Praise you, Lord. Amen. Today's reading is Ephesians 2, 1 to 10. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following the desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we're dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Father God, <coughs> we thank you for your grace and mercy that made us alive with Christ, even when we're dead in transgressions. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But we thank you that when we cry out to you for mercy, ask you to be Lord of our lives and to forgive our sins, that you have a, few, a new future life for us, a totally transformed life, living in the power of the Holy Spirit, not alone anymore, but with you, day by day by day. Lord, we praise and thank you for your mercy and grace, and for the Holy Spirit who leads and guides us, day by day. Amen. <coughs> 